Mona Jones, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure. Now, what do you do at the museum? I am the full dome producer at the Otago Museum, which is a really fancy way of saying I manage the planetarium that we've just opened. Well, this has been very exciting for you. It has. It's been a very, very much a roller coaster ride until now. A roller coaster ride into the planetarium. Yes. Sound pretty exotic, actually. Yeah. Now, what, what about your experience? What's um, led to this? It's very strange, isn't it? It's a bit of everything. So um, my background is as a producer, so I have a lot of experience doing 3D animation and producing films. And then that kind of led me into an interest in astronomy, which leads you to a job being a planetarium producer. It, it would also suit you for putting on displays. Which it, you, possibly. You, yeah, yeah. Give you a, a lot of understanding of what people like to see and how they'll enjoy things. Yes, that's the plan. Okay. <laughs> so what are we looking at here on the table? I'm afraid I'm quite lost with these. <laughs> So it might look a little bit strange, but this is actually a part of our projection screen, which is the big planetarium dome that we have in our galleries, which is a little odd. Um, so what you'll see is it's perforated. So if you, if you yep. pick up a little bit and have a look at it, it's actually made of aluminium, so you can touch Thank that. You. Um, mm -hmm. And it's got holes through it, so about 20% of the dome is actually holes. Why is that? Oh, the reason for that is because it actually helps with acoustics. So if we didn't have the holes in them and you stood in the middle of the planetarium and whispered to your neighbour probably about how amazing the show is, you would probably... <laughs> <laughs> worth a shot. Yeah. Uh, you Lost, you, you would probably be able to hear it in the whole planetarium, so it just helps drown that out a little Might bit so you can't hear everybody. Space, mm. Tell us about a planetarium. What, what is a planetarium? So essentially what it is, is it's a big theatre, but instead of having a screen in front of you, you have a screen all the way around you, 360 degrees. So it's like you're sitting in your own personal little bubble. In space, is it? In right? space, yes. Looking around. And it's, it's mobile in the sense that it changes, it The moves, planetarium itself doesn't move, but, but the images do. that we project oh, onto the images it project, move. Of course, mm. yeah, I see. So you're constantly getting a, uh, you're, uh, you're in a situation where you're looking at what's actually happening up in the night sky. Is it putting yes. it too crudely? Yes. Um, we can look at other things, not just the night sky. So um, we could uh, look inside the human body, for example, if we did a film about that, or we could How look How big is this thing? Geology I haven't seen it. It's pretty big. Oh, no, no, that's no. So we could travel. We can travel anywhere and any time. That's the filmmaker on you coming out again. It is, yeah. yes. <laughs> what is the purpose of having a planetarium in a museum? It's a very good educational tool. So as you probably know, we already have Star Lab, which is a small portable planetarium that we do outreach with. This is just on a much larger scale, so we can have children and we can have families come in who want to learn about astronomy, geology, other sciences, and actually experience it in a fully immersive environment. So this is happening. You're standing in the middle, looking up and around. What about sound? So we have a fantastic 5.1 surround sound system, which means you can hear everything happening around you as if you were physically there. And is there any instructive in the sound? Is there any narration? Yes, so it depends what you go to. Um, so our live shows, for example, have a presenter, one of our museum staff who knows a lot about astronomy, that will be standing there and giving you an account of what you see and answer questions. And if you go to one of our narrated shows, then you'll have more like a documentary experience, just quite a lot more immersive. So what shows do you have on now? What are you starting with? So we're starting with three shows. Um, one is called Magama Afetu. It's a um, Maori show about kaitahu myths and legends to do with astronomy and the sky and creation. Then we have a show called Amazing Universe, which is a general trip to the edge of the universe and back where we talk about how everything was formed and how we came to be. And then we bring you back to your seat, which is quite good. And then, obviously, our live show, which is um, more interactive. It's something that visitors can come and experience and speak to people about. I imagine that uh, this would be quite popular with schools. Mm. Yes, we have a fantastic school program that we will be running in conjunction with this as well, which is really good. Well, thank you very much for introducing us to the planetarium. You're very welcome. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.